Okay. So now I'm going to review the rest of the movies that I watched. I am, I actually did not finish the last movie. I'm going to watch it right after this review. Right after these three reviews. And then I'll watch it. But I'm going to review the other three. So the first one I have to review to you is The Woman in Black. Obviously you can tell by it says The Woman in Black review. But basically I didn't really know what to think of this one. This one kind of looks like a so-so horror movie. But I'm trying to find all the good horror. I'm trying to find all the horror movies of 2012. So, this one seemed like it could be really, really good, and I'm happy to say that that is the case. The Woman in Black is really, really good. Is it the best horror movie of 2012? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not the best horror movie of 2012, but it, it is. It does have a pretty good story, and it has an amazing twist, which I'll get to in the spoiler section. <clears throat> Excuse me. But basically, this movie is about, um... Daniel Rad Arthur Kipps basically is the widowed lawyer whose grief has put his career in jeopardy is sent to a remote village to sort out the affairs of a recently deceased eccentric. Uh, but upon his arrival, it, because it soon becomes clear that everyone in the town is keeping a deadly secret. Although the townspeople try to keep Kipps from living their tragic history, he soon discovers that the house belonging to his client is haunted by the ghost of a woman, who is determined to find someone in something she lost. And no, not even the children are safe from her vengeance. So that's basically what it is. And every time, you know, he comes to learn that every time he sees this woman, a child dies. And so everyone else is, you know, he doesn't know what's going on. Everyone's blaming him for this. They're saying, oh, you killed so-and-so. It's your fault. And they, cause they know about the woman in black, but he does not know about the woman in black. And, um, there's actually some pretty intense sequences in the first half of this movie. Like, there's a scene where there are these two brothers, and they're like, oh, our sister's dying, and she ends up coughing blood and falling into his arms. That was genius right there, how so quickly he saw the woman in black, like, five seconds ago, and she just died. That was genius. <clears throat> Excuse me. But basically... I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good, and it has a really great twist, but as I said, I'll get to that in spoilers. Now what I want to get to is Daniel Radcliffe. I thought Daniel Radcliffe was really great in this movie. It was interesting to see him as not Harry Potter, although this does have, like, magic like Harry Potter. It's more of a horror movie, so I really liked him in this. I thought he did a really great job, and everyone else is pretty good, too. I liked uh, the guy who played... Um, his friend, Sam. I like that guy. I don't really know his name, though. But I thought Daniel Radcliffe did a really great job in this, so I'm happy for him in that, that he was able to do more projects besides Harry Potter. I'm sure he's done other projects, but this was his first big one that wasn't Harry Potter. I mean, he did, like, that December Boys or whatever, but that didn't really talk because he was still doing Harry Potter. This, is, this shows that he can still do good movies without doing the Harry Potter series. So, now I want to get to the spoilers, so if you have not seen The Woman in Black, uh, go watch The Woman in Black, then we'll uh, watch the rest of this review because I'm um, about to spoil this movie. So the first thing I want to talk about in this movie is the big twist with um, the girl who died being The Woman in Black. I did not expect that very much at all. I thought The Woman in Black was going to be this one girl who was there, you know, who's been there years ago, I didn't know it was going to be this one girl. Um, I also thought the twist was very interesting, how the woman in black lost her child, so now she's setting out to kill all the children. Also, the end of the movie was good too. I didn't expect him to get his wife back. But he does, he gets his wife back, and I thought that was really cool how that all worked. And I just thought everything in this movie really worked. I mean, I also love the scene where, um, you know, they had to put the boy that died in the, um, in the, um, in his grave. Because I thought that was really interesting how that all worked out. So, overall, that was really cool, too. Okay, so, now I am done spoiling, but overall, I really enjoyed The Woman in Black. I thought it was really great. Daniel Bradcliffe was really good. 100 times better than this. 
definitely 100 times better. <coughs> but I really enjoyed The Woman in Black. Let me know what you guys thought of The Woman in Black. Did you like it? Um, more than The Devil Inside. Do you, which movie did you like? The Woman in Black or Devil Inside? I'm sure a lot of you are going to say Woman in Black. I know this was based on a book. I didn't read the book. But, very interesting story. And I really enjoyed it for the most part. Alright. That's my second movie, and stay tuned, so I'm going to review the third one. So stay tuned for that. Bye!